Hello, hello. Hi, guys. Hi, hello, Miss. Hi, how are you tonight? Hello. I don't see you. Um, sorry, but I have a stop in the, in the traffic right now. Oh, no, but you're driving? Sure. Yeah, look at this. Let me see. Chaos in the wow, street. Wow, that's now, the, traffic. The boulevard. Good night, people. Hi, good evening. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, boulevard. Is right. Yeah, boulevard. So are, you, are you going to Multiplaza or what? No, no, no. Boulevard Venezuela going to the Plaza Mundo. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ooh, Plaza. It's because yes. it's Friday. It's always it's Friday. Like that. It's, everybody knows. Yeah. Yeah, that's yes. a very complicated highway. It's very complicated. Okay, and how is everybody else? Are you happy it's Friday? Uh, no. No? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because that's my... Honestly, I got a lot of work to do. Yeah. It's just another day. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's well... It's like a Monday for me. <laughs> another day in paradise. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Don't worry. Sorry, yeah. Marvin, I'm muting you because your internet's very slow. <laughs> so we hear you for like 10 I seconds. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wait. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for being in class, despite the fact that it's Friday. Let me send a message to the group. Give me one second here. Uh, put it pre advanced to. One pre advanced one, sorry. I'm ready. I know, I know we are ready, but yeah. Okay, welcome, guys. I hope you're doing all right. That we get to practice and learn some things tonight together. We were talking about jobs last night, right? So they, if you noticed, they discuss the personality types. Pay attention, please. I need you to have your notebook ready. And I would like you to type, they discuss personality types. I would like you to write all the types and also the suitable profession for each personality type, okay? And the reasons. So that is what the information I need you to tell me at the end of the video, okay? I will tell you, uh, this is a personality, you have to tell me the suitable profession and the reasons. Is that clear? Suitable. Suitable. I don't know the yeah. meaning of this in Spanish, guys. Sorry, let me see. Let's read the definition, hold on. Suitable meaning. It says, right or appropriate for a particular person. Suitable. Mm. Oh, that's British. Suitable. Mm. Suitable. So it's right and appropriate for that particular person. In this case, based on the personality, what is your suitable profession? Mm. Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna watch the video and please take notes. I will ask you that question at the end, okay? Ready to watch? Here we go. It's the same video as last night. We're gonna watch it again. Mathis in college. I'm Jamie Fish. Some students arrive on campus with clear career ambitions, but most students need some help figuring out which field of study is right for them. The good news is, help is available. I'm here with Jacqueline Auden, 
a career advisor from the Career Services Department here on campus. You've advised a lot of students over the years about choosing a major and a career path. What should students consider? Well, Jamie, one of the first things to consider is your personality type. Well, along with your skills, abilities, and personal preferences, your personality type can guide you toward finding a major that best suits you. Okay. So how many personality types are there? Well, there are six basic personality types. Hmm. Artistic, conventional, enterprising, investigative, realistic, and social. All right, those are the six personality types. Now the suitable professions and the reasons. Write them down. Now, the first type is artistic. These people are creative and imaginative, and they prefer to work on one project at a time rather than multitasking. What careers should artistic types pursue? The most important thing for this type of people is being in charge of a creative project. So careers to consider are landscaping, graphic design, web design. I see. The next personality type is conventional. Tell us about that one. Yes. Conventional types are practical and orderly. They respond well to rules, procedures, schedules, things like that. Hmm. What types of careers do conventional type people usually enjoy? Conventional types often enjoy numbers. And they're also good with measuring and analyzing things in general. So often they tend to be bankers, lawyers, building inspectors, and technical writers. Are they good business people? Sure, they can be. But they usually work for others. The next type, enterprising people, those are the business owners. Ah, the enterprising type. What characteristics do those people share? They tend to be leaders. They're independent and willing to take risks. They're good at motivating people, so we often find them in sales. Really? Hmm. What careers do they enjoy, aside from sales? Well, they're good at directing projects and people. So they make good... Aside from sales. What careers do they enjoy, aside from sales? Well, they're good at directing projects and people. We often find them in sales. Really? You often find them where? They're good at motivating people, so we often find them in sales. Really? What careers do they enjoy, aside from sales? Well, they're good at directing and projects sales. and people. So they make good managers. OK, so that's three types. Let's take a look at the fourth type, investigative. Well, this type of person prefers logic to imagination and tends to be precise and detailed. So Jamie, what are some careers that you think would suit this type of person? Hmm. Science would probably be appealing. You're right. Uncovering mysteries is key to any type of science, but librarians are also the investigative type. Really, any career that involves research fits into this category. Hmm. So that brings us up to the fifth type, realistic. Yes, realistic types like to work with their hands, with tools. They want to see the results of their work in physical terms. Hmm. That sounds like repair people to me. Yes, that's right. Also jewelry makers, builders, and engineers. So now for the sixth personality type, which is the one that describes me best. Yes, I think you're right. <laughs> the last type is social. Social types like people. Their jobs usually involve helping and communicating with others. Oh, but teaching would appeal to social types. Oh, yes. Medicine, coaching, broadcast journalism, and, of course, career advising. That's us, social types. Ms. Auden, thank you for sharing this information with us. It was my pleasure, Jamie. Well, we hope this information has been helpful to you. If you'd like to learn more, this Let me find the six types again. Here. All right. So, how do you describe the artistic type based on the video? A creative person. Yes. What else? The artistic type is creative in? Imaginative. 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 
Okay, what career or profession is suitable for an artistic type? Landscapes. Graphic design. Landscapes. Yes. Graphic design. Graphic design. Graphic design. Graphic design. Very good. Graphic design. Creative what about projects. the conventional type? Web design. The conventional People type. How do you like describe numbers? it? numbers. Order and logical. It's one way to rule. Yes. What careers are suitable? Banking, lawyers, lawyers, technical writing. Okay. Exactly. Very good. So, guys, um, a lot of people are participating. Maybe I would like you to. We're missing one. Hold on. Straight. No. There. Those six. I would like you to discuss the questions. Okay. The types. How you describe them the career, and then at the end, describe yourself, which one you think you are, what job you're doing, and what job you would like to do. Is that clear? Yes. Uh -huh. So continue the discussion, but also discuss your type and your current profession and your ideal occupation. All right, let's, let's discuss. I'll give you five minutes to do this, all right? So accept the invitation, please. Let me see who I have. Let's do this in small groups so that we can get to talk more. Go ahead. So, what are the, the questions? The exercise is that we have to discuss what is our type personality and our uh, objectives and the kind first? of careers, I think. Yeah. Carlos, yeah. first, describe these, the careers. Yeah, when you artistic, finish, conventional. When you finish, discuss. Enterprise. Okay. So how do you describe the enterprising type? Um, my, my career is, is a clinical laboratory in science. Uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, you? And the mine is conventional because I work in okay. and I and I study business administration. Oh. Administration empresa? Yes. Yeah. Well. Administration. Okay. And you, Sonia? Um, in my case, um, business administration, um, I work in the bank, um, area, no, uh, in, in the, what department? What do you say, area? Area? Uh, depart in the department, department, uh, investigation uh, transaction department uh -huh. research and transaction yes. department transactions department mm -hmm. research transaction department yeah. yes and my work is fascinant because it's fascinating um, investigation uh, about fraud uh, fraud investigate? investigation. Investigation. Investigate? Uh -huh. From investigation. Yes, exactly. Um, about fraud. It's, um, it's very...
very good. Yeah, and it's interesting. Okay. But uh, let's answer the questions. I sent the questions here more, uh, cle it's clear. So okay. how do you describe the, re the investigative type? What are the characteristics? Characters. How do you describe um, I am investigation uh, about. Sorry, but based on the video. Transaction big. Based on the video, the investigative type is logical and precise. So what are the suitable careers for this type of person? Okay. I don't know. I think I think the, mm. the, the, the how to just describe the artistics is the person who 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 have the the talent the talent and imagination for I think eh, is uh, the talent and talent of talent yeah. okay Talent and imagination. I think okay. uh, they can, and uh, they can uh, use uh, some instrument, or they can uh, paint, and they can, uh, yes. uh, for example, uh, draw for the career. Uh, maybe is the uh, design, uh, design uh, uh, for for building uh, design for um, for house design for uh, page uh, web page or design for um, clothes i think that, that is the person who uh, who is the better and career is the better for artistic the convention um, is like a, is like a person who sell Mm -hmm. sell the uh, products, sell service uh, for the bank. Uh, we sell service. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think um, the lawyer uh, is the career for conventional. They, they'll sell the, the service when, when they sell um, escrituras, testaments, mm -hmm. and uh, they sell uh, a service. And building inspection, I don't know who is building inspection, is auditores. Is like auditores? Auditors. No. Yes, auditors. It's like uh, auditors, I think. This is the, the, the convention. And the what? other is the artistic convention. And what is the What is technical writing? Technical writing is like uh, with technical vocabulary, depending on the area. Mm -hmm. So they write books. Oh, okay. That is technical writing is is good for the investigative type, right? Okay. What type? Of uh, investigate of my career is. Uh, Clinical laboratory um, and the science uh, logical process. Logical? Uh -huh. Precise. Precise. Uh -huh. Tend to focus on the taste, on butter, um, virus. By, uh -huh. Bacteria, by, viruses. By, by, uh -huh. Bacteria. Okay, uh -huh. interesting. All right, I guess we're going to go back now. Let's go. Okay, how was the practice? Difficult? 
this was really interesting. interesting. Very interesting, yeah. Okay, I'm glad. For some of you, I think it got complicated at, at some point. Personality, yes. Personality type. Uh huh. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, the key, guys, to learn new vocabulary, write new expressions, and everything is to write it down. So, look, I excuse my handwriting my arabic writing <laughs> but look i wrote here right the type the characteristics oh and the job that is, is it sanskrit no this is <laughs> this is arabic <laughs> okay <laughs> but i understand it <laughs> all right so what i want you to do right now is we're going to continue speaking about jobs because we are on time right so we can practice more and elaborate on this topic so I'm going to send you some questions. The first one says, let's discuss the first question as a group and then in small groups, okay? As a class and then in small groups. First question says, what are some of the worst jobs you can think of? I just sent this. What are some of the worst jobs you can think of? Sales. A salesperson? Mm -hmm. Really? No, no. <laughs> What is, what was the, what read the, the first question. It says, what are some of the worst? Oh, or the, the worst, yeah, yeah, to me, sales. To me, sales. Sales, okay. Where does some... Uh, it's so stressful, I can't. Yes. So uh, maybe something with like sales. numbers. I can't me, handle numbers. I hate me, it. Me too, I don't like the numbers. I don't like some, the numbers too. Something with English. <laughs> oh my God. When, when you don't know when you don't know english yeah it's probably very stressful yeah. right yeah like, it's like hey make a reservation and you're like ah, I can't. I can't do this. yeah it's very stressful and so let me see another one imagine those people the that teaching work at teaching mm, I yes disagree. teaching by child teaching children <laughs> i agree oh my gosh a bad for I feel child. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You know why? It's really complicated because you not only teach, you also have to babysit. Mm. So it's double the job, and I, I no, I cannot do that. <sighs> I have bad experiences, so no. <laughs> <laughs> I love teaching adults. I really do. It's fascinating, but not children. <laughs> I could only do it for three months, I think. And I said, no, I cannot do this. Please get me out of here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But what about those people that work in dump? How do you call this? Dump trucks. Dump trucks. You know what dump trucks are? No. No. God, that's they go like pa, 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 7 a.m. And they're like, you have to take the trash thing. out. Oh. <laughs> take the trash out and put it there. <laughs> so they're, those are called dump trucks. Those dump people truck. that work picking up the garbage and throwing it. That's one of the worst jobs, I think. Yes. Right? Because yes, you can get I infected, think, sick. Yes, it's not and healthy. The people who clean the windows in, in buildings. That's yeah. another one. Exactly. OK, well, let's have this discussion in small groups, all right, with different people. Let me make different groups. Hold on. Two to three, three to four, OK. Accept the invitation, please. Let's get speaking. Hey, hello. See you all again. Okay. Uh, is this the same group or is it a different one? Mm, almost. No, I think almost the same. Is yeah, oh. uh, okay. <laughs> let me see. Okay. Okay. The worst job. Okay, then. Mm, what are some of the best jobs you can think of? Yeah. The best. Hey, Milena's, right? Milena's new job. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's one wow, of the best yes. jobs. <laughs> yeah, yes. the ambassador. <laughs> Yeah. Take good a good benefit, right? Mm -hmm. More salary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A higher yeah. salary. Yeah, salary, so, yeah. I don't know. The people say um six five, six thousand? No. Um 
or 10, more. 10,000. Right? I think they were saying. 10,000, yeah. Cool. Yeah. What do you think, Ismenia? Some of the best jobs in the world? In my case, I think uh, the pilot, I, in my case, because I would like to be a pilot maybe in the future. Um, I don't know, for me, is the is one of the best jobs that you maybe can you have because you travel, you can have, you can have sorry, and uh, you can travel and I don't know, maybe this and and just that. This is and all. How old are you, Ismenia? 23. Yeah, you can be a pilot, yeah. but you need to start right now. Yeah, yes. the next year. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. yeah, sooner than later, please, because if not, it's not happening. <laughs> yes. That's good. You, Gio, what do you think are some of the best jobs? For me, I would like to work in uh, making soundtrack, soundtrack for movies. I like music a lot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sí. ¿Y Sonia? Yeah. ¿En your case, Sonia? En the worst homes, I think um, para ca, um, uh, word the paracaidismo, no? Paracaidismo. Sí, sure. uh, ¿Se puede decir para, para, para ¿Cómo? What? Skydiving. Sky diamond. Uh, okay. Sky okay. diamond. Sky diamond. With a V. And because. Okay. Uh, sky. Sky bad. Um, the um, circle. Circle. Uh, Worth the, the circle. Ah, working in the circus. Um, yes. Acrobat. I am acrobat. Acrobat. And. The uh, words, the best. I I think office, uh, office in it, office in it, mm -hmm. and working in an office. Gerent the bank. Ah, what can a, you know? a, a director the, or a manager at a bank. Manager man, um, maybe. Um, uh, attention, uh, no, sales, service. The sales event, customer service, yes. Sonia, is your Maybe. camera working? <laughs> Can we see you? Say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let us see your beauty, come on. <laughs> <laughs> in my house uh, is different. <laughs> it doesn't matter. In my house. <laughs> Look at me, I'm wearing a sweater and I'm working fine. And, and Alexander. Uh, yes. <laughs> I think you have your camera on, right? Alexander or no? Uh, but no. it's dark. Okay. Well, oh, let's continue. But yeah, try to turn it on later, please. Put some okay. lipstick on, question. Sonia, and you're ready. <laughs> okay, what's the next question? question? <laughs> what kind of okay, job um, do you Alexander? want to get in the future? Oh. What kind of job do you want in to get case, in the future? So... In your case, Sonia. Okay, um, in my future, um, I'm, I think, I I I can um, no I will pardon I will um, manager in the in the my bank my bank. I would like to be a manager. <laughs> it's possible. Sonia. Exactly in the yes. I have a question. Okay, how yeah. much does a manager at the bank make? How much do they make? What's the salary? Ah, in the possibly in five dollars? Uh, no, five, no, five hundred dollars. Five thousand. Five hundred. Five thousand, excuse me. Five thousand dollars. It's possibly 
Um, hold on, let me check on something. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, the salaries are the same here in Argentina for a bank manager. Yeah. Okay, and you, Alvin, what kind of job would you like to do in the future? Do you always want to be a teacher? Yes, I love to be a teacher. Really? But in the, future, in the future, I want to teach in English. And what do you teach? Makes, science? Uh, social science, history. Ah. Yeah. So um, for me, my my how, my challenge is to is to learn English for because my school is is bilingual. So bilingual. in this moment, it's bilingual exactly. So in this mm -hmm. moment, I just teach. Uh, social science, but in the future I can teach uh, history in English. Okay, in the same place. Place, yeah. And or in another country, Alvin. That no, exactly. That open the, the opportunities yeah. because, for example, for example, in Qatar, I can I can do the same thing, but the salary is twenty thousand. No. Twenty thousand is twenty mil. Twenty thousand dollars per month. Wow. Per month. Are you kidding me? And and they give to you a house. A, and they provide. A, they provide furniture. Housing, they provide furniture, furniture. accommodations. Yeah. So uh, that uh, you have to to sign um, a contract for two years. Mm -hmm. But. You you resolve your problems in two years. Yeah, all your problems. The problem is is you can uh, drink because that places are illegal. Uh, drink alcohol mm -hmm. or um, have relationship with uh, local girls because wow. the local girls are only for local boys. Mm -hmm. So Excellent. so you can you can only have a relationship with women uh, foreigners like you. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, I have Very a. Very interesting. I, I have board mates. Uh, they they work in Qatar, in Abu Dhabi, in, in that kind of places. Oh, and co -workers? so well. Co-workers, yeah, and but they come to El Salvador and, and ask why, and and they told me, Alvin, in this life, it's not only about money, because uh, they resolve their problem right now, mm -hmm. so they want in this moment to leave. And El Salvador, uh, they like because the prices of the things, uh, the people are so happy. The mm -hmm. um, it's so liberal to live here. Yes, because you're free. That's the thing. Yeah. Well, it's a good idea yeah. to go to Qatar, Alvin, to save money, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you Alexander? Sorry. Uh, in the case, uh, uh, war on research. Um, Microbiology, uh, hematology, uh, yeah, for my career. And you want to use English for your career? Yeah. Okay, very good. What's the next question? <clears throat> Do you think what job someone has determines, 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 who they are service or products you don't you don't need you don't have money for it and you need self and you you have to work hard for that yeah need a lot of time time is is uh, the first thing to make money but if you had your own business you get for money yeah. <laughs> if you had you if you had your job in a place you you have an education for eight to five every day you don't have enough times to 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 expand in your own business but your own business you are your boss 
you get your own money. Yeah. I you think have your are, own time. Yeah, I think you had more advantage. Yeah. More advantages. Yeah. Advantages. 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 Plural. Advantages. Yeah. True. Yeah, but you have to be brave in order to start your own business. Yes. It requires a lot of strength being brave because we're used to having a, something secure, stable, and then taking the risk it requires the person to be a risk taker, exactly. Yeah. But when you get out of began, the began the, the, the own business, it's hard too because all, mm -hmm. uh, all principio at the beginning, mm -hmm. all beginning, every is, beginning, every beginning, every beginning is hard for because the, 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 the first years only have, a, well, the, the first month only have a lost money. Uh, when you, uh, for the time, when you um, uh, go, to, oh no, cuando uno llega, cuando uno llega, when you reach, when, when you, you get to, when you get to the, the point, the equilibrium, the balance, equilibrium, the balance, when you get balance, yes, the when balance. you get, yes, when you get balance, uh, there is, is more easy, but, uh, uh, get the balance is hard. The first years, I think it's the more difficult. Achieving a balance is hard. Yeah. Yeah. But in Bank yes. of America, we are going to give you the credit. <laughs> <laughs> and selling, and selling our products. <laughs> So okay. you start your own business. <laughs> Think about it, guys. <laughs> That's a good incentive. Okay, what's the next question? Mm. The tense, the is, do you think what job do someone or? has determinates who determines? they are determines yes. who, who they, they are, are. Mm -hmm. Jonathan mm. no really no really for example me I study um, technolo technology but I work in finance uh, no, no, is uh, no, no determinate. The, doesn't determine. Uh, doesn't determine. Determine uh, who, who, who determine. you are there. Okay. Yeah. I think this is more of a philosophical question. Do you think you are your you are your job or you are something else? Right. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Beatriz? In my case, I think. Uh, the job determine who I am. Really? I, yeah, because I wow. like love. I all all the time when I when, well when I start to study at the university, I started to work uh, in a legal department. Mm -hmm. So I study and I work at the same time. And I do that I like it. I do what I like. I do what I like. Okay, interesting. And you, uh, Melissa? I haven't heard Melissa. Mm, I think I am. I am my job. It's it's to me because I am like a social person, mm -hmm. and I work in requirement, and I really love to do my job. In some cases, I love more like, uh, no, I love more uh, prepare or give a capacitation, the first capacitation of my group. You like providing training or giving providing training? Providing training, and yeah, like... providing trainer. 
Yeah. So I think I, it, it, it not determines me. It doesn't determine who I am. It doesn't determine me. Determine. Sorry, guys. Determine. Not determinate. Okay, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> determine. Determ determine. 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 Determine me. Uh huh. Exactly. It doesn't determine determine me, but it's it's. Yeah, it's I love you, it. right? It's part of me. Yeah. What are some of the most dangerous jobs? For this time, the doctor. Ah, <laughs> yes, that's right. Um, Carlos? Yeah, in my case, I think a satisfying job is whichever who can help other people. Okay. Helping people is satisfying for me. Very good. Yeah. I think every job you do, Carlos, satisfies yeah. a need and it helps the society in a way. So, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you notice, there is always that, that the objective is to satisfy a need in the society. Mm. But yeah, I understand what you're saying. <laughs> Those are the best jobs. <laughs> but uh, I was reading a, a sociology from the United States that say that, for example, sociology, what is the uh, sense of the career? They have you know, the people, but they, um, they he gave an example where mm. in the United States, they, um, cut, uh, they get like sociologists to forget a culture in, in, the, in a process in the United States. Mm -hmm. And that, that those sociologists did a bad thing. Yeah. Not helping other people because it forget a culture and something like that. They, they did something counterproductive. Instead of helping them, they did something negative. Yeah. Okay. Forget. I think we're going to go back now. Did everybody talk a lot? Yeah, it's many. I talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a compliment or a complaint? <laughs> complaint. <Yeah. laughs> All right, let's go back. You know, my roommate is loud. He speaks very loud. <laughs> so I close the door. Okay. Um, did everybody talk a lot? You guys are fluent. Yes. Uh, it was interesting. Okay, we're gonna do one more thing um, before we finish. Look, what is adjourned? Do you know what adjourned is? Jerung, I-N-G. At the end of the verb? Exactly, that's adjourned. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> if I say this, regardless, <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I know. <laughs> <laughs> or is that the, well, <laughs> so I is this okay? It's only a coincidence teacher. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> the action, is this okay? I N G exactly. So look guys, if you start all right, listen, if you start your sentence with a verb, we have two things here. Okay, I can say um for example. Um, Hold on. Send a message if you are going to be absent from class. All right. Send a message if you are going to be absent from class. It's bad for you. This is journed. Right, in, in both cases, I'm starting the sentence with a verb, right? Yes. The first thing you have is a verb, but they, they are different things. They have different meanings. This is imperative because I'm giving you instructions. But is this an instruction? No. Nope. Okay. So I have to use ing, 
All right. Okay. Okay. So if you start the sentence <clears throat> with a verb, it has to be ing, or unless it is a, an imperative, meaning a commands, recommendation, advice, instructions. Okay. So in this in this sentence here, what is the <clears throat> verb of the sentence? A small. Okay. That's not the verb of the sentence. Mm -mm. That's the subject. Is, is. is. Yes, exactly. Is. So this is the subject. And is is a verb. Is a verb. That's why I need this to be ing. Subject. Mm. Verb. Because the subject of the sentence <clears throat> is this one. It has to be ing. All right. This is the verb in the sentence. Okay, that's the explanation. Anyway, let's watch the video so that you can see more examples, but I think it's easy, isn't it? Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Welcome to this class. In this class, what we want to do is we want to practice their You're muted, teacher. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so get the notebooks out, I will say, write down examples, write down the structure, whatever you hear in the video, because it's very long, it's seven minutes. Gerund so. phrases. As so we're going to learn how gerunds are used as subjects and also how they're used as objects. And uh, you might have seen and you might be a little bit confused about this whole deal here. So, for example, whenever you see, uh, like at hotels, you see no smoking, uh, no parking, all that. You might think that that is wrong, but actually it's not. And then we're going to try to make sense of all that here. Um, and then, so let me give you an example on how this is used. So we're going to talk a little bit about politics uh, a little bit. Uh, not going into details, of course, but just some general things about it. Uh, so running for office. Well, look at a couple of sentences here and then uh, just uh, see some common things that politicians say whenever they're running for office. Well, the first thing is voting is an important responsibility. Um, improving our schools, fighting for a new hospital, etc. So let me quickly outline that this is a gerund. So a gerund is simply a verb which uh, you um, add ing to. All right, and then uh, of course there's some spelling things about it that you might have learned in previous classes. But here are some examples on how gerunds are, are used either as subjects of sentences, so for example, voting is an important responsibility. Voting is the subject of our sentence, so it's not acting as a verb. Let's discuss improving our school. So as you can see there, we're using that as an object. And so let's try to make sense of all of this. A couple of more examples. Choosing a candidate takes time. And um, let me point out um, the gerunds here. So choosing a candidate, that's, that's the subject of our sentence. I enjoy working for the people. Okay, that's uh, working in that case is not acting as a verb. It's acting as the object of our sentence. Uh, do you resent paying higher taxes? Again, paying is not the verb. It's, it's, it's the gerund that is being used um, as, a, as an object there. So now that I gave a few examples on how gerunds are used as subjects and how they're used as objects, I would like to go into details now and talk a little bit about the usage of gerunds. And the first thing that I'm going to mention is that uh, in this case, in this lesson, we're using gerunds as nouns. So we're using them as people, places, or things. And so we're familiar with the verb work, for example. And if we include ing, then we turn that into a gerund, right? But now we're going to use this gerund as either a subject of a sentence or as the object of, a, of the sentence. And that's what we're going to learn. So let's take a look at the, another gerund. So for example, the verb they, I'm sorry, the verb pay, we turn that into a gerund by simply adding ing. And then we have pain. Improve. And of course, there are some spelling things that you should have learned in previous classes. Uh, and uh, we remove that E, for example, and then we add ING, and so we have improving. Let's go into some details now, and let's talk a little bit about gerunds, and particularly gerunds being used as subject of sentences. So on the screen right now, we can see that 
a gerund can be the subject of a sentence. And a couple of grammar rules to learn is that it is always going to be singular. It's always going to act as a third person. And so let's look at that. Voting is an important responsibility. Choosing a candidate takes time. And as you can see, those are subjects of sentences. And uh, the idea here is that this is going to be singular. So we're always going to have a singular verb. Like in this case, voting is an important responsibility. We could say voting was or voting will be. But the idea is that it's going to be singular. And then the other example, choosing a candidate takes time. Again, choosing becomes the subject of our sentence. And so it becomes a thing, not necessarily um, a verb. Um, and then, of course, we need to follow that grammatical rule that we need to add S to that verb. When talking about this topic, it's important not to confuse the gerunds with the present progressive. So let me give you an example about that. If I express, I'm voting today, uh, really what I'm saying is that it's an action that is happening today. right? It, it could be in the future, by the way, as well, but I'll, I'll talk about that later. Um, and on the other hand, voting is an important responsibility. So in that particular case, I'm using that as a present progressive form. On the other hand, I'm using that as a gerund. So I'm using that as the object of my sentence. And so there, it's a verb. And the second example, it's, a, it's the subject of a sentence. And so let me just give you a quick example of what I want you to do. So what is exciting for you? Well, windsurfing is exciting. Windsurfing is very exciting. Playing soccer is exciting. Going to the movies is exciting. So all of those expressions that you've heard in the past, and they don't quite make that much sense, they should make a lot more sense now. And so what I would like for you to do is to take that concept then and Tell me what makes you laugh, what gives you a headache, what is impolite, what is popular in your country, what destroys the environment, and what uh, can be dangerous. All right, teacher, let me try the first one. For me, watching comedy movies makes me laugh. For me, learning math gives me a headache. Using yourself on in class isn't polite. Playing basketball is popular in my country. Burning fossil fuels destroys the environment. Not taking action on weapons of mass destruction can be dangerous. Now let me talk about the last part of our class and what we want to do next is we want to learn how gerunds can also be the objects of sentences. And so let me give you a few examples about that. So we heard politicians say, I suggest improving our schools. So as you can see, the suggest is our verb, and improvement becomes the object of our sense. So it's no longer a verb. I enjoy working for the people. This is what politicians say. And what we want to do here is we want to use gerunds as objects. So they both enjoy. What do they enjoy? They enjoy watching the birds. And then they, I mean, you could, you could have said uh, different things. And so what I would also like for you to do is to try to make sense of all of this and try to complete this exercise. So I'll have my virtual students try this out. But I would also like for you to try this out as well. So this is quite easy. Hi, John. I need a ride to the airport. Would you mind taking me? I don't mind taking you. I'm heading that way anyways. Dad, can I go outside and play? Guys, is this topic confusing? Mm, maybe just a little bit. A little bit? A little bit. Yeah, yeah I think I, I will try to explain this to you in a different way, okay? Because it's very confusing yeah. for me like this. <laughs> so let alone for you. Anyway. Let's do this exercise right now in the one here, because this is increasing, it's good. Let's discuss, okay? Um, what makes you laugh? Let's complete it. You need to say an activity, all right? It has to be a verb mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. form, so. So for example, don't tell me cats 
because this is not a verb. I mean a verb. Yeah. Dancing maybe? Dancing. Yes. Dancing. Dancing makes you laugh? Yes. That works. <laughs> what else? Watching. Watching movies. Yeah. Watching yeah. comedy Watching movies. Comedies. Yes. Watching comedies. comedies. All right, that one too. What else? Everybody contribute, please. Watching comedies makes me laugh. It's always singular third person, right? So it's with S. Uh huh. What else? Makes me. Mm -hmm. Because this it is make, it. It makes. Uh huh. Exactly. It if you replace me. watching comedy, you can say it makes me laugh. Or watching comedy makes me laugh. Yeah. Uh, exactly. like talking with my friends, you can say talking with my friends. Yes, of course you can say that. Talking to my friends. Okay. To my friends. Awesome. All right, what gives you a headache, guys? Jared gives me a headache. <laughs> Brown Mark gives me a headache. Okay. No. Tell me an activity that gives you a headache. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Running, give me a hurry. Yeah, working, some... working teacher. Okay, oh, no. <laughs> working gives me a headache. What else? Drinking. <laughs> wow, drinking. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, <laughs> drinking gives me a headache. I confirm. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> That's what I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Working, drinking gives me a headache. What else? Um, it gives hey, me a headache. You know what gives me a headache? Arguing. Arguing. Uh -huh. You arguing. have fight. Fight is physical, right? And arguing is verbal. Discuss arguing. is not negative. Discuss is good. Okay, let's discuss. Arguing. Uh, art. Discuss is good, okay? But argue is the negative one. Yeah, Ar arguing. arguing yeah, uh -huh. I hate it. Yeah. Oh, I don't like arguing. arguing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. arguing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's something that isn't polite? Mm, arguing. So now the sleep. Sorry? Arguing. <clears throat> something. Tell me an activity that is not polite. So now the sleep. It's not polite. Sleep. I don't mm -hmm. understand that. Sorry. Don't know the sleep. Uh, uh. I don't understand. A screen? A screaming? Screaming. Okay, it's but screaming, screaming is when you go, ah, or do you mean yelling? Like, hey, yelling. I'm here. Yelling. I need a joke. All right, that's yelling. Yelling. Okay. That's the difference between yell and scream, all right? <laughs> Big Isn't polite. Yeah. Sorry, Alvin? Lap, dan lap dancing is not polite. Lap that I don't know what that is. Lap dance. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Really oh, laugh. Maybe laugh. That's... Laughing? No. Oh. no. Lap dancing. Lap dancing. Lap lap. Lap dancing. Lap dancing. No, yeah, but I don't know what that is. Okay, one more. Let's do a negative one. For example, not letting, no, not listening to people, right? Not listening to people. Oh, ashamed people, ashamed, I don't know. Oh, ashamed people. If you want to make focus. it negative, don't say focus. don't, say not. Focus, okay? no. focus mistake in public. Ah, okay, like you mean pointing out? <clears throat> Pointing out mistakes yeah. in public, exactly. Yeah. Yes, that's a good example Ooh. for business. You shouldn't yeah. do this. What is popular Ooh. in the country? Ah, to eat pupusa. Uh -huh, so making pup eating, eating, pupusa. Eating, eating. Uh -huh, we need a, a yeah. verb. Eating yeah. pupusas is, po is popular. Destroys the environment. Pointing out, pointing out. Looking, Littering. Looking after them. <clears throat> Littering. <laughs> Not sleeping eight Guys, I have to finish. Okay, so look, littering is when you throw garbage. And that is the, the technical not word. Not sleeping. Literally. And not sleeping. Eight hours can be dangerous. The negative form is not. It's not don't. All right? 
Okay, I have to go. We're going to continue on Monday, but please, if you can, take a screenshot of this and write down your own examples to start practicing because it's a long topic. You have no idea. This is so long that I don't want you to worry, but yes, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so write Thank examples, you. okay? <clears throat> have a beautiful okay. night. Enjoy the weekend. Don't Thank drink you. so that you don't have... Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Good, Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.